I've got my matcha, so let's chat. Hi lovely people, welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to talk to you about the Index Personal Style course that I took. So in the video where we tried out Index together, I already said that I would be doing their 8 week personal style course and that's exactly what I did. So. I thought I'd just give you a little update, tell you how that went and if I would recommend you do the same. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. So it is an 8 week style course put together to figure out your personal style or at least make a very good start at figuring out your personal style. It is a completely free course so definitely accessible to anyone. So I've been working with figuring out my personal style for years honestly. Um, it's something that I've always really enjoyed. At some point I finally figured out that I really don't care about fashion even though I did study fashion design for two years but that the thing that's actually interesting to me is personal style and since then I've been kind of slowly diving into that a little bit more and slowly figuring out my personal style but still I thought it would be fun to do this eight week course and hey see if there maybe were things that I did not know about my personal style yet that I could define a little bit further with help of this course so let's just get into what the course entails so the first lesson is week one <laughs> is basically mapping out your intentions for the course just very simple quick little prompts to answer and that's really it and then from week two I feel like we are really starting to dive into this and week two is all in the theme of finding inspiration for your personal style. I've been collecting inspiration for my personal style for years. I've been doing this on Pinterest. I think I've actually showed you that Pinterest board before in a wardrobe strategy video. So I'll make sure to link this for you up in the cards and in the description box if you'd like to check that out. But basically I have a Pinterest board for my like for cooler weather and then one for warmer weather. So a winter one and a summer one. And that's just where I've been collecting pictures of outfits or specific details in outfits that I really like and that I would like to bring into my personal style, I guess. <laughs> so really just an inspiration board. This definitely was not a new step for me by any means, but still reading through the lesson, there's definitely some good tips in there. And there were a few like, aha uh -huh moments of like, oh yeah, that's an option, of course that is. So definitely a good start, I think. Then in week three, you are starting to really delve a little bit deeper. You're going to take a look at that inspiration board and then starting to edit it down. Again, this is something that I've been doing for years and that I will just go in every now and then and just kind of go through the board, see if anything is there that doesn't speak to me anymore. So it's definitely something that I am already doing again. But again, there are some good tips in there. And I definitely had a few like aha moments of, oh yeah, that's a good thing to keep in mind. And it has actually helped me define a few things a little bit more. So that was definitely a good lesson. Then week four, we are at our three words. Um, you've actually seen me do their three word quiz that they have uh, within the app. Again, in that initial <laughs> index video, I did that. I think it's been down for me on androgynous, bohemian and classic. I have kind of gone in and changed that a little bit. For me, I feel like my three words are organic, feminine and classic. So similar in certain ways, but definitely a little bit more refined in other ways. And I feel like that personal style quiz actually did do a really good job at pinning down some words for my personal style. I just feel a little bit more at home in the words that I actually ended up choosing. And they are definitely encouraging that to go in and maybe find alternative words that feel more like you, more descriptive of your specific style. But that was definitely a super insightful little quiz. So I would highly recommend that as well. Then step five is digitizing your wardrobe, finally. <laughs> but I had already done this, so I could kind of gloss over this step really because I'd already digitized my entire wardrobe before even getting to this step. I do have my wardrobe as like an open wardrobe, so I'll have that linked for you in case you're interested in taking a look at the items in my wardrobe. Maybe you are as nosy as I am and you would like to see that, so if in case you do, I'll have it linked for you. 
And week six will assess your assets. Now, this is definitely a very good week, I think. This is the week where you are really starting to look at what's already in your wardrobe. And if the pieces that are in there are actually working with your personal style, if, how did I put that? Um, you have any return on your investment, as they put it. So whether it's a super cheap piece or expensive piece, doesn't really matter. But you did bring that piece into your wardrobe for a reason, probably. So is it actually fulfilling that reason? Are you getting any return on that investment? So in this week, you are starting to really figure out what pieces are already in your wardrobe, how they work for you, maybe building some outfits with the pieces you're not quite sure about, and see if you can pair them in a way that actually is going to make them work for your personal style, for your three words, for what you want to get out of your wardrobe. And this is also where you're going to be decluttering any items that you feel like do not belong in your wardrobe anymore. Again, this is something that I will do quite regularly, um, so I didn't really change too much this week. But it's definitely a very good lesson to kind of look through. And if you haven't decluttered your wardrobe in a while, or have you, if you haven't really looked at your wardrobe for a while, I would highly, highly recommend you follow this lesson. And you honestly, even if you have decluttered quite recently, it is super insightful to read how to actually view the pieces in your wardrobe. I would recommend you just try that. Then week seven is building your wish list. So again, this is something I've done for years. Definitely since kind of diving into my personal style a little bit more, maybe even longer, I have kept a wish list. So I didn't really do too much during this lesson again. There are such good tips in here. If you have seen any of my capsule wardrobe videos, you have seen the wish list that I share with you at the end of those videos, so you already kind of know <laughs> how I go about it. I'll have some links for you, and you can see my current wish list in my spring capsule wardrobe that I just shared a few weeks ago. But again, some really good tips here. So, yeah, if you're not keeping a wish list yet, I think this is such such a valuable piece if you are wanting to build your personal style and want to do so like in a more conscious way <laughs> because I don't think this is something that you're going to be doing overnight they also say so in the workshop this is a much longer process um, but this definitely gives you a very good jump start and then week eight is all themed around finding the pieces on your wish list so in week seven, you're not quite going to find these specific pieces yet, more of like a general idea of a piece. Uh, like maybe you want a white button down shirt, maybe you want a new pair of jeans, maybe you want a pair of brown ankle boots, <laughs> like whatever it is. Um, it's more of a general description of the item that you'd like. And then in week eight, you're actually going to look for these specific items, taking a look at maybe vintage stores, maybe uh, secondhand shopping online, maybe taking a look at some brands that you really enjoy. So in week eight, you are really going to try and find the pieces on your wish list. However, you're not necessarily going to go out and buy all of those pieces, and that is something that I really like. So if you know me, you know I am not into impulse purchases at all. I tend to think about any purchases that I make for quite a while, actually. Usually at least like a week, probably longer. For the most part, a lot of the items that are on my wish list have been there for months. <laughs> so um, yeah, definitely very well thought out purchases and they also encourage that in this last week of the style course and I'm so happy that they do. The sun is coming out and it's so nice. Honestly it's so nice and warm today. It's like 23, 25 degrees Celsius which is not normal for April here in the Netherlands but I have to say it's nice. So this last week definitely was a great overview with some great tips in there and I feel like this personal style course might just be really valuable to maybe look back on, kind of get a little refresher, which is how this felt for me. So do I recommend the personal style course by Index? Yes, I do. <laughs> First of all, it's a free course, so nothing to lose there, uh, maybe just a little bit of time. <laughs> Every week it's delivered right into your inbox and you don't really have to think about it otherwise. 
So whether you are just discovering your own personal style, I think this would be super, super helpful if that is the case, because it has a lot of really good tips. But also, if you are a little bit more seasoned in figuring out your personal style and playing with this, I feel like this is such a good little refresher and kind of get those little tips and pieces back up at the front of your mind, so like a little, nice little refresher to really refocus on your journey, which that is what it has felt like for me. Also, I'm really enjoying the outfit I'm wearing today, which I made using Index. For some reason, I'd never thought to wear this Betty cardigan with the Sahana dress by Dodo Zwindia. They look so good together. I love this combination so much. And that's all thanks to Index. For some reason, I didn't think about wearing these two. They're a beautiful combination, so not a really good thing about that. So yes, all in all, I would definitely recommend you take a look at this course if personal style and developing it for yourself is something that you are interested in, whether you've been doing it for a while or if you are quite new to it, it doesn't really matter. There are so many good tips in there. So either this will give you a nice jump start or it will be a nice little refresher. So I do actually have a code for you that you can use when signing up for Index, which will give you a $10 credit. So go ahead and use that. I mean, the app is free to use, but you can use those $10 towards any of their services. So, I mean, nothing to lose there, definitely do that. So let me know, is personal style something that you are interested in? Have you been trying to figure out your own personal style? How is that going for you? What are your three words? I would actually love to know that. And let me know if you are interested in trying this course or if you're going to pass for now. I wish you a lovely rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!